Hey church, look forward today uh, to getting to share with you the encouraging word. Now the idea that I have today is pretty raw. Uh, it's not as developed, it's a thought I've just been kicking around recently. So it's not as developed and as calculated as a sermon. But I think as we process through this today, uh, that you'll find something that could really help you uh, today uh, and as we go forward. In 2 Timothy chapter 1, verse 7, we are told that for the spirit God gave us does not make us timid. It doesn't make us timid. The spirit that God has given us, because we're believers, because we're followers of Christ, because our lives have been changed through our relationship with Jesus, because of that, we do life differently. Now, we're just supposed to, uh, that we have a different filter uh, in life. And he continues, he says, but gives us power and love and self-discipline. So today, I told you this is pretty raw. Uh, so today, I just want us to think about that in the context of a filter. That God has made us, we are different because we are in Christ. Romans chapter 12, verses 1 and 2 talks about that. That we're not conformed to this world, but we're transformed, we're renewed, uh, we're made different. So our thinking should be different. Our filters should be different in life. So as we go through this, and you and the virus is no respecter of person, uh, it's going to infect Christians, it's going to infect non-Christians, and you just go on and on and on. It's not a respect or person. So just because we're believers, uh, we, we don't get to set this one out. But we get to do it differently. Why? Because we have a different filter. So you think of, as, you, as we process this out together, let's use our filter of prayer. That's been given to us because we are Christ followers. So we're going to commit to using a filter of prayer. What comes at us is going to be filtered with prayer. Uh, it's going to be filtered with belief that we believe in God. And that God's going to get us through this. And he's going to protect us. And he's looking after this. And, and God wasn't surprised when all of this started. God isn't late to the game. He's right there with you today. And we believe that. Uh, and that we have power. We have power, and our power is found in our faith, and our power and faith is going to push back fear. So many opportunities for fear. But we're going to, we have a different filter, and we're going to filter that away from us and keep that away from us. That's the point of a filter, is that it keeps the junk from destroying the furnace. We have to keep the junk from destroying our faith in our walk with Christ and our beliefs. So we're going to get this filter uh, put in place and it's going to protect us from these negative thoughts and fear and doubt that just kind of want to consume us. And then there's, we have a filter, it's called hope. It's called hope. And scripture talks about that, that our hope is different than the world because right? our hope is in God, not things, not circumstances, not luck. It's in God. It's placed in a firm foundation and that is God. And the last filter I want to talk about today is trust. We have a filter of trust, that we really trust our God. You know, when we are on the mountaintops, we really enjoy our God, don't we? But we learn to trust our God when we go through valleys, when we go through difficulty, when we go through hard times. God develops that filter of trust. I pray that your filter of trust, as God develops it, just grows stronger. Let's trust Him through this because we're different and we have a different filter and we believe and trust in our God. Hey, hope that's helped you out a little bit. I know it's kind of raw. Uh, and at the same time, hey, you know, if you haven't changed your filter, in your furnace, it's springtime, might be a good time. My mother-in-law used to call me all the time. Hey, Jerry, have you changed the filter? Have you changed the filter? Uh, change the filter in your furnace. I mean, you're, you're going crazy right now uh, anyway and stir crazy. So go down to that furnace, give it a little special attention uh, so that so you don't have a problem uh, later. Uh, and spiritually, let's really get our filters up. We really need them at this time. So I hope that you'll, you'll remember that. For the spirit God gave us uh, does not make us timid, but gives us power, gives us love, and gives us self-discipline. Let's exercise the power of God during these times. 
And hey, I look forward to you uh, joining us uh, for a live service this Sunday, 930. Looking forward to it. God bless. You're in my prayers.